Republic of Kenya, may request that we be upstanding, those ones who are seated. Can we all stand? Of Kalifi County, Governor Amazon Kingi, the governor of Mombasa County, Kenya. It has been the first of the magical Kenya Ladies Open and not the last. Please put your hands together for him. All protocols have served. Our first lady, come. Thank you. On behalf of everyone at the Ladies European Tour, I'd like to firstly start by thanking Her Excellency First Lady Margaret Kenyatta and all the dignitaries for being here to support and celebrate the magnificent staging of the inaugural Magical Kenya Ladies Open. I would also like to give a special mention to the main sponsors, Magical Kenya, Safari Com and Pesa, and all the supporting sponsors including KCB, EALBL, Vipingo Development Limited and Turkish Airlines. I know this has been a vision for Dirk and Alistair for quite a long time now, and to finally see this tournament come to fruition is testament to their hard work, commitment and dedication to supporting women's golf. This has been the perfect venue for to finish a finale to the 2019 LET season, and by what a finish it was. During the 2000 season, we visited 21 events over 13 countries and staged the Solheim Cup, which as we all know was won by Europe. In turn, I would like to say a special thank you to the promotion team from UCOM Events and to UCOM Media, who broadcasted the event to over 200 million viewers globally. And to the entire t team and community here at Vipingo Ridge, you should all give yourself a huge pat on the back. To the Chairman, Alistair Kavanagh, all of your team. To the Greenkeeping staff, led by Kennedy Mwangi, for the beautiful condition golf course we had this week. To all of you volunteers and hosts who's taken the time and the effort to look after myself, all of my team and all of the members this week, we can't thank you enough for your hospitality. To all of the local caddies and to everyone working within the F&B, it's been a real community effort and we can't thank you enough for your help and support. It was especially pleasing to see over 28 different nationalities represented this week over, with over just over 100 players. 11 players coming from Africa and 5 here from Kenya, including 4 amateurs. This is a very important time for women's, women's golf and women's sport in general. As you may know, last year the RNA, the leading governing body of world golf, launched, launched the Women in Golf Charter, an initiative to increase the participation of women's golf and above all to emphasize the role that women play in bringing girls, boys, indeed whole families to play this wonderful sport. Together with the RNA, we are working to bring hard this charter to life throughout the tournaments around the world, and your help in this process is valuable. In turn, we hope to see in the future some stars of Kenya take this main stage. In closing, all that is left for me to say is thank you to everyone for making this week magical, and we can't wait to come back next year. Thank you and good evening. This has been an amazing event. The last three days have truly been historic. We are very, very proud to have been associated with this event and to have participated and contributed to the, to the event through the administrator of the Sports Fund, um, Ambassador Kirimi Kaberia, who is here with us. Please stand up so that we can acknowledge you. You know, Excellency, I actually heard about this event from Alistair, who walked into my office one fine day and said, look, uh, we have this event coming up. We have partnered with uh, Najib Balala, and we also want the Ministry of Sports to come on board. We were happy to participate because it's a sports event, and being the Ministry of Sports, we obviously uh, wanted to be part of the event. Your Excellency, in the last few days, we've had very many young women golfers playing on this notoriously challenging uh, course. And we want to just thank all of them. Let's clap for all the participants, please. 
They did an amazing job. They made all of us extremely proud. They made us enjoy this course more than we've ever done before. And yes, I tried to walk the whole course. I didn't do a great job, but I was a witness and a good witness to many of the amazing shots uh, uh, that were hit by a few of our young ladies. Uh, Your Excellency, apart from those that came from outside Africa, there were six African countries that participated uh, in this event. And those young girls did extremely well, and we hope uh, we can um, welcome them again uh, next year. I know that uh, one of them has already promised uh, to come back. She's from Uganda, lives in the United States. And I just wanted to tell her that you'd be very, very welcome. Karibu Nyumbani Tena. And let me say this to all of you who are here today. Please come back next year. We intend to make this event an annual event. But it will not be the only... It will not be the only event, obviously, that we will host here. We will host many more events. We actually want to see this course active and used. And that's the only way that we'll be able to benefit uh, from uh, golf and the, the course that has been so well uh, prepared and so well uh, nurtured. Uh, Your Excellency, we intend to start the journey of next year today. And we want to thank you very, very, very much for sparing the time to come here, to join us, to be part of this amazing historic event. And um, I can assure you that none of, you, none of us let you down. We all did our best to make sure that this event would never be forgotten. I personally will never forget it, and I'm sure that many of you uh, that are here will not forget it either. I want to thank Michael Woods and uh, also Dak and Alistair Kavahan for a wonderful event. I want to tell you, four years ago, His Excellency the President appointed me as a Minister for Tourism. This was the first agenda on my table, 2015 December. It took us four years to reach where it is today. I want to thank Dak particularly and, T and Michael. This dream come true is a reality. And I could see, you could see from the governor here he said nobody believed it. And I want to thank Lopo here, Safaricom. Please stand up, Lopo. <laughs> Safaricom, Lawrence, you are here, Kenya Commercial Bank. These are our two champions who said, irrespective of what the circumstances will be, we will be there. But I want to thank Madam Amina, CS Amina. Without your personal intervention, without the support of the sports fund, 30 million Kenya shillings was given by the government through you, Madam Amina, and because this will be the prize money, today we have it here. I think we have had a wonderful event. God blessed us with rain. The cause is green. Small hitches here and there, I think it's just the beginning. But I think the place looked beautiful. We who have lived here for the last 10 years, today for us is a beautiful time and day because we have seen the event, we have seen the cause being maximized and we can see the visitors. Today, the Pingo Ridge is on the international screens. Today, Kilifi is on the international screen. But more important, Kenya in the last four days has been all over the world to market golf. Finally, I know the Kenya Golf Ladies Union are here. Thank you very much, the ladies who have stood up, stood with us to make it happen. Madam Chair, can you stand up, everybody, to see you? Thank you very much. All the sponsors who have come here. Your Excellency, we want to start a campaign for 2020. It will start tonight. Every sponsor who is here, register with Alistair. Don't tell us we didn't give you the opportunity. In fact, sponsor number one is the governor of Mombasa. Mombasa governor has said five million shillings is from him. <laughs> governor, I know, you never let me down, and this will happen. So we are starting with the Governor 001. Please, the sponsors, everybody else, including the sports fund, 
I know Ambassador Amina has lined up this event for next financial year. So with these remarks, I want to finally thank Vipingo Ridge and the chair of Vipingo Ridge with the management, with the staff, Andrew with your team, the greenkeepers, everyone who played a role, the volunteers to make sure this event, this event is not about Vipingo Ridge. This event is about Kenya. And that's why our name is Magical Kenya. It's not about Safaricom, M-Pesa, whatever. It's not about Kenya Tourism Board. It's about Kenya as a destination. I'm proud, Your Excellency. Today, Kenya is all over the television, the sports te television channels, and we are there telling the world we are ready and we are professional in this game. I was uh, informed of this conversation that with Pingo Ridge at some point we'd be ready to host European Tour Ladies Champion. And to many of us, let us be honest, we never thought it, hap it would happen. But let me say, today I took it upon myself to walk every hole from number one to 18, just to feel that I seriously or meaningfully took part of the tournament by walking behind the winners. So on my own behalf, and uh, on behalf of my brother, the governor of Kilifi, who had to leave, he asked me to pass, to pass his greetings and to say you're welcome to this unique uh, county that has everything to offer. When we are telling the world that Kenya is truly magical, sometimes I don't believe it, but now ask the participants, Ask the golfers. I'm informed also, those that never met the cut did not leave as usually they do in other destinations because we are Kenya, we are special, and we are magical. <laughs> so for us is to reaffirm our commitment that we want to work with you. Hopefully the, the next year's one shall be much bigger and we should be able to produce local stars. We have seen some that have tried, who played six over, ten overs, but hopefully with time and good preparation, we should be able to do better. It's with great pleasure that I join you to participate in the prize-giving ceremony to award some of the best names in ladies' golf profession. I also bring greetings and best wishes from His Excellency the President. I welcome our visitors to Kenya. I invite you to enjoy Kenya's warm hospitality and wish you a memorable stay in our beautiful country. Kenya is deeply honored to have been selected to host the final tournament of the Ladies European Tour 2019 season. This is the first time in history that a ladies professional golf championship of this magnitude has come to the East African region. I thank our host, Vipingo Ridge, for offering the perfect setting for this prestigious tournament alongside the event partners and sponsors. You have all contributed towards the success of bringing together professional lady golfers from all over the world. I congratulate the winners and the runners-up for the inaugural Magical Kenya Ladies Open and acknowledge every single player who participated. Well done.